Hi, this is Mami and your Mami Negosyo. And in today's video, I want to share with you my answer to the question, how can I effectively conduct market research by myself or should I consider hiring someone else? Now, that was a question asked by Ria in our free 30-minute mentoring call. Now, before I forget, if you have not done so, may I invite you to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so that you will be notified when I answer more questions like this. Now, let's talk about how you can effectively conduct market research by yourself or should you consider hiring someone else to do it for you. Now, marketing is something that a lot of my coaching clients come to me for. On one hand, they do not feel confident about doing marketing. And on another hand, they know that it is something they must be able to to do to grow their business. Is marketing one of your challenges as well? Actually, marketing is not as difficult as it sounds. I hope you know that the reason why it sounds intimidating is because of the many things people say about how difficult and how complicated it is. Even thick volumes of books are written just about marketing research. So why should you say, Mommy in that marketing research is not that difficult? Well, at this point, what I want you as a business owner to learn is that those books, those thick books, are written by authors who work with large companies. And yes, they have complicated market research because they have teams and huge budgets for marketing research. I also felt overwhelmed when I was starting with my businesses because I was looking at these marketing books. And from these marketing books, I realized how important marketing is. But I also learned that marketing should start with market research. That looks really very complicated. It is only after I do marketing research that I know what direction to take in my marketing. But of course, before this, I did marketing by guessing and marketing by Gaia Gaia. This means that I look at how people do it. Did they do radio ads? I follow them. Did they do leafletting? I also made Gaia Gaia etc, etc. So these were marketing tactics. I did not know that before I create marketing tactics, I needed to be clear about my marketing strategies. So who am I talking to in the marketing that I'm doing? What message do I have for these people that I'm talking to? Where can I even find these people? I needed to answer many, many more questions to which the answers is, I do not know. With Gaia Gaia, I committed so many mistakes and wasted so much money with marketing tactics that did not work. Almost all of my coaching clients came to me because they have already wasted so much money doing Gaia Gaia. Are you one of them? Well, let me say at this point that if you have a huge marketing budget or if your company is already big, then you can outsource your marketing research. Let somebody else do it for you. The good companies and the experts who can do it for you will charge you in millions of pesos for their fees, but they will give you results that can guide you to make more millions in return. So not bad, right? Now, don't go for people offering to do it for you at a cheap price, like a few thousands, because good market research will entail lots of legwork and it will take a lot of time. So naturally, it does not come cheap. Now, for us solopreneurs, micro or small business owners, market research can just be simple and we can do it ourselves. Yes, simple but not easy. And you can see this in my answer to Ria's question. I shared with her five tips and I'd like to share them with you as well in this video. So tip number one, define your research objectives. Simple, right? Before diving into market research, it's very important to establish specific and achievable objectives. What key questions do you need answers to? Usually, my clients would come to me to find out how they can do marketing well so that they can increase sales. So I'd ask them if they know who their customers are and what problems they have, these customers, that my client has the solution to. It is at this point that I see them wide-eyed with surprise. They don't know who their customers are. And of course, they don't know what the problems are. So they just started their business with a product or a service without knowing who will buy their products or services. They don't even know what problems their products and services are solving for their customers. So I would start them with the market research objective of understanding and finding out who their target audiences are and what problems they have that my client has the solution to. 
Now, in their market research, they might want to assess who are their competitors and how well they are able to solve the problems of their customers. Yes, how well the competitors are able to solve the problems of the customers. And finally, by getting to know their customers better and their competitors, they can now know what are the possible marketing channels they can use as their marketing tactics to reach their customers at the least cost. When the objectives for the research are clear, then my clients can now focus on choosing the right methods and the effective questions that can bring out the answers that they need. So the results of the market research then can help them focus on the right message and placements in their marketing efforts so that they can bring in more sales. As you can see, once you have clear objectives, you will keep the research focused and you will prevent it from becoming overwhelming. Is this something you can do? I'm sure you can do this, right? Tip number two, make use of online resources. This is something you already know, but you may have just taken for granted. The internet has a lot of information and tools for conducting market research. For example, you may try to Google industry reports or market studies or government databases and competitors' websites. If you own a hotel, for example, you can learn about the tourism industry, find data from the Department of Tourism, and even check out what other hotels are doing to attract their customers. Look at social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. You can check out forums or fora like Quora and Reddit. And online surveys can also be valuable sources or resources for gathering customer insights. You can look at the customer's comments and they will provide a lot of information for you. Now, what problems do they have that you could provide the solution to? You can see it from the comments. Online research can be cost-effective and efficient, especially for small businesses with small budgets like us. So tip number three, engage with your target audience. Some of my clients are so shy that they would rather send out written surveys to their clients or to their customers. Now, my experience tells me that surveys and questionnaires sent out through emails and messages don't work as well as personal interviews. When you ask the questions through an interview, whether face-to-face -face or through video calls over Zoom or any other platforms, you will have direct interactions with your target audience. And this will allow you to get invaluable feedback and real-time insights from them. These interviews will help you to understand customer preferences, what are their pain points, and their expectations from your type of business. So engaging with them can also establish a personal connection between you and them, and it can help in building customer loyalty and trust. Now, tip number four, monitor and analyze competitors. We talked about competitors a while ago. Now, my coaching clients often ask me, Mommy Ann, how often do we study our competitors? Are you wondering about this as well? Do you also have that question? Well, studying competitors has to be done as often as you can. That's my answer. At least once every three to six months. That's at least. What is it that you need to learn about your competitors? Well, you can check out market trends through their actions. You can also check out their pricing strategies and how they are addressing gaps in the market that you may not even be aware of. You need to continuously analyze your competitors' web pages, websites, social media presence, and customer reviews. And because by understanding what competitors are doing well and where they are falling short, you may be able to identify gaps and opportunities on how you can differentiate and fine-tune your own products or services so that you will be preferred over them. And finally, you don't just watch your competitors. You must also listen to tip number five, stay up to date with industry trends. The world is constantly evolving and so do your customers' needs and wants, your competitors as well as technology. It's essential to always know the latest trends and changes that are happening, even if sometimes we may think that it does not affect us at all. 
I always suggest that my clients subscribe to industry newsletters, attend relevant webinars or conferences or trade shows, and join professional networking groups. When they are up to date with industry developments, they can make data-driven decisions and adopt their strategies that will surely impact their sales and their business growth. Now, by following these steps, a small business owner can conduct effective market research independently, gain valuable insights on which they can base their business strategies and enhance their competitive advantage. Now, was that helpful? Priya asked this question in one of our free one-on-one Zoom calls on our Q&A Tuesdays. So if you have questions or you are interested in learning how to grow your business by growing your people or you want to start a business the right way, please tell us in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Or maybe like Ria, you may want to sign up to our Q&A Tuesdays where you can get into a 30-minute Zoom call with me and it's totally free. So if that was helpful and you want more business tips, then click the link in my bio to sign up for my weekly newsletter so that you'll get free access to exclusive insights, private Q&As, and inspiring episodes delivered from my heart to yours, straight to your inbox. This is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo saying, be business-minded, Pinoy! (laughs) 